Now that is called slideboard training, one of the most used and most useful types of training whenever you want to become better at inline skating, ice skating, or simply just increase your range of motion and mobility. My name is Victor Halathorp. I went to two Olympic games. I'm a professional inline slash ice speed skater, and I'm a huge fan of slideboard workouts. In this video, I'm gonna dive into how much you can get out of your slideboard and basically explain you everything you need to know in order to get started with your slideboard training. Meaning, what, why, how, and where do you get a slideboard and how do you get started? Now, when it comes to slideboard training, I have quite a lot of experience as well. Growing up in Denmark, where the weather is not ideal very often, slideboard is a great plan B. You can do it in any weather because you can do it indoors and also you can slow down the movements in order to really work on your emotions and your movement pattern. That way you can technically improve at your own pace. Now I started my personal slideboard journey when I was only 13 years old building my own slideboard. As you can see here it was not of the best quality. However, we have way way better slideboards today. My preferred brand that I also recommend you guys to use is called Burn. I reached out to them and asked if I could get a discount code because I wanted to make a video on how to get into slideboard training because it's just such a cool way of training and an easy way to get some gains. They gave me a 20% discount code, so I'll leave that in the description below. Feel free to click on that link and you can save some money buying a burn board. Now, I'm not the only one thinking the burn boards are the best out there. You will see on their website there is multiple Olympians using the burn boards. Now the reason I chose burn is simply because it's the best gliding slide board. You will notice when you get started with this how important the glide actually is. Not because that's where you create your training, I believe that's more in the position work and the rhythms. But if you don't glide well, it's just not gonna be a smooth movement. It can cause unnecessary and unwanted soreness and you're not gonna be able to really practice what you actually want to get out of it simply because you're just kinda bumping from side to side and it's not a smooth transfer. So I chose burn, they also have various different dimensions. I'm gonna dive into that later, but that's the reason that's my preferred slide board. Now, just to answer the first question that some of you might have, what exactly is slide board training? Well, it's a very, very simple concept. It is really just, as the name indicates, it's a sliding board with two end blocks. A slide board comes in almost all sizes. Obviously, the, the bigger, the longer legs you have, the wider a board you would want. And it really just depends on how tall you are and if you're looking to work more on the gliding face or more on that position and retransfer face from one side to the other. So the way to use a slide board can either be in your off season because you want to get more downtown, there's downtime, there's no ice skating available in the summer, or if you're an inline skater, it's hard to find available inline places or weather in the winter. So here, slide board is a great workout. The cool thing about the slide board, yes, you can do it anywhere. It's also very easy to just hop on and off a board. If you're doing intervals, there's no necessary roller lab or getting back to your coach or your clock watch to be able to start it. Also, you can have a mirror, which I definitely recommend right in front of you. So when you do your slide board, you can constantly see and auto correct yourself. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna leave a little bit of me doing slide board. You can try and copy some of that. I have been training a lot on the slide board, so obviously I picked up some good habits. Try and imitate those and hopefully little by little you can get there as well. Which I definitely recommend right in front of you. So when you do your slide board, you can constantly see and auto correct yourself. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna leave a little bit of me doing slide board. You can try and copy some of that. I have been training a lot on the slide board, so obviously I picked up some good habits. Try and imitate those and hopefully Little by little, you can get there as well. So that is slide board training, really just gliding from side to side, imitating that movement. Now moving on to why we do this. There is multiple reasons why I recommend you to do slide board training. Obviously, as mentioned, it's a good plan B if you can't do your preferred modality, inline skating, ice skating, whatever that might be. But slide board, I do find that one of the cool things on top of having a mirror in front of you is that you can slow down the movement. Obviously on skates, everything goes really fast, even though we have an idea of what we want to, to do, it can be hard to actually do it. A lot of us know how it should look when we're skating, but putting that into real life can be very complicated. A bit like dryland skating. You here on the slide board have the option of really taking it at your own pace, putting a foot down, pushing off to the side. There's no stress, there's no rush. 
And also you can get in a lower position that at first is, is a little uncomfortable because first off it hurts the legs, which is not fun. If you're full of lactic acid, it can be sketchy skating out there on the road on your inlines, but on the board, there's no risk at all. So you can practice this gliding face. Also a slide board will naturally point out all the mistakes you have, technically speaking. If your knee is pointing a little inwards, well, you're gonna slide to the side. If everything points straight forward and you're pushing off straight to the side, not with the heel, not with the toes, well, you should automatically glide straight to the side or to the other end block. So that way slide board is super useful in correcting you automatically. Now, I personally also find that slide boards are a great way to warm up before a session. Could be if it's on the ice, well, you don't always have ice available. Could also be on the inlines if you really wanna dial in technically before you start skating. Cause that's where I really think it's a cool tool. It doesn't have to be hard, just short periods at a time. And then this is a great warm up exercise for you to dial in simply. Now, moving on to talking about the equipment, most importantly, the board itself. I find that six feet, and I think that's what most of the professional use as well, six feet length is ideal. With the burn boards, however, you have the option of simply moving one of the end blocks closer to the other so you can basically customize the length of it, which I think is super cool. In the beginning, the glide phase is not the most crucial. Later on, when you get on to good rhythm and you can carry out longer workouts, well, you can always extend the length of it. But I would just start really simple in here because it is mostly in that weight transfer and learning how to set up a good push more than actually just gliding on the board. So the burn board, six feet, you can, you can order a package there where you get those booties, socks. I really recommend getting those as well. Um, I've been basically begging my mom to, uh, to knit me some socks that I could use. However, they get sweaty if you use them on your feet and on the shoes, I feel like I'm not really gliding well. So get good booties and obviously it comes with a cool spray. So it's really all in one package. So the burn board, six feet, you can, you can order a package there where you get those booties, socks. I really recommend getting those as well. I've been basically begging my mom to, uh, to knit me some socks that I could use. However, they get sweaty if you use them on your feet and on the shoes. I feel like I'm not really gliding well, so get good booties. And obviously it comes with a cool spray. So it's really all in one package, but those are the three key things you would need to, um, yeah, to care about. So the length here, make sure to get that board because it's adjustable and go shorter and then gradually uh, increase the length of your board as you could become more comfortable in that gliding phase. Now, once you've got your board and you're hooked on the slide board training, the final question you might have is, what do I do? What kind of workout should I dive into here? I look at it as there is three different ways or three different types of workouts you can use when you have a slide board. The first of them is the one that I appreciate the most, the technical workout. I mentioned it a bunch of times, you can slow down the movements. So a technical workout would be really short periods of active work and then at least the same amount of resting time in between. These are also the types I would use for warm up. Um, so maybe take 30 at the most 60 seconds on the board because you need to be mentally really focused on what you're doing and execute the movements well. We use the slide board mostly to create good habits that we then after that carry on to our skates. So 30 to 60 seconds at the time, at least 30, preferably a minute or even two minutes of rest in between. If you have a video camera, how about you film yourself and then you review that in that rest in between and then you can see what you need to work on in the next set. There is also the one I personally use whenever I'm not able to skate, the endurance workout. So where you do slide board almost as a dry land kind of workout where you keep going for longer periods of the time, really focus on sitting deep and loading your legs more than you're even able to on your skates because when you get to that point of fatigue on your inlines, it's gonna get real shaky and you're just not gonna skate well. Whereas here on the slide board, because it is very simplified, you're able to dig deeper while being in that position. For that, I would gradually increase the amount of time I go. The most I've done is workouts that were, I think five to six times, 12 minutes at the time, which is almost a the length of a 10K on inline skates. That, however, I would not start out with. Always go with good position, good skating first, and then gradually increase. A recommendation here could be a minute and a half, two minutes for a start, and then a good amount of rest in between, say a minute, two minutes, so that you can recuperate well and still get the most out of each set. And then you go from two minutes to three to four to five, and maybe you'll reach 12 at some point as well. 
Now, the last one is not one that I personally experienced that much with. It is the sprint efforts. I've seen a lot of videos on these and they seem to be pretty popular among sprinters. I do understand why the sprint workout, there's a lot of things that you can easily mess up when out skating, when you try to move fast, you'll kick backwards, your center of gravity is gonna get out of position just cause you are sort of desperate to gain more speed. However, the slide board won't allow you to do so. You must constantly keep your hips down and stay in that position. So when you try and speed up your slide board movements, if your hips are not down there, you're gonna tilt to the side. Good thing is it does not hurt. So don't be afraid to do that. But if you are in position, so weaning when you glide over, you gotta sort of land, if you're trying to imitate skating, in a perfectly engaged position that allows you to go back and forth and back and forth without any slack. And the slide board is super cool in teaching you that if you use it for a sprint workout. This could also be a good way to warm up for an intense training session, simply just by, by getting the legs ready in that way. That's basically everything I have for you in this video, my FAQ sort of for slide board training. It is really one of the all time greatest training methods. One of those that I've been using the most throughout my entire career. And I definitely recommend you to give it a shot. Look up the burn webpage, save 20% with the link below. It is a really good slide board, trust me on that. And I've tried quite a few brands in my time. Um, so that's my best pick here. I'm curious to hear what you think of this video. I'm curious to hear if you have any slide board experience, anything you wanna to add to this video or share with the community of skating. Stay tuned, subscribe. There will be more videos on slide board training. I am also using slide board for things that have absolutely nothing to do with skating, but it's more like a strengthening workout. There's a lot of cool things you can do simply to activate muscle groups that we don't necessarily use on a daily basis, but that will be important for us in just about any sports. For now, thanks a lot for watching. Victor Hollithorpe, over and out.